now it's time to create our first playlist. Uh, it is important to know that we have several ways how to run our broadcast and how to create playlist and how to load playlist. Uh, the first one is uh, basic, so we are able to run our playlist using only remote application. Uh, it is online manual way, so you are able to just drag and drop and uh, place your files on the online playlist and, and just run your broadcast. But uh, the usual way is made by uh, and possible using our scheduler application. So uh, using scheduler, scheduler application, you have two basic ways how to uh, create playlists. The first one is uh, simple, a basic way. So I will just run uh, and put some uh, uh, video files on the playlist without considering starting time. Uh, then I will put some uh, uh, program content, for example. Then uh, I will just add some commercials on, on my playlist. And now, uh, beside video files, we are able to input a live source uh, live means sdi live source uh, also uh, we are able to put uh, commands to start and stop our graphics template so i will just pick uh, test scroll graphic template and add this command in in the playlist also you're able to uh, make uh, logo commands to control your logo change, to switch to some other logo template on turn off logo as you wish. Um, also, uh, you're able to insert commands, but we will speak about these commands in separate tutorial. Um, beside CG commands, you're able to put labels uh, on your list. Label will uh, just tell you and, and give you possibility to describe some zone in, in, in your playlist. Um, very important, you're able to group your, uh, for example, commercials in one single group. So this will save your place in the, in the, in the list, make complex and big list uh, uh, much more understandable uh, for you at the end. So. Uh, what is the basic way? Basic way, uh, we will just save this list to our hard drive or any any location, for example. And I will uh, just put uh, any name, so this will be our test list. And then I will just save it on my hard drive. Then in remote, you're able to append. So just manually load this uh, save at least to to, uh, to to your online rundown. So this is basic way. Just take next and your uh, rundown will, will go on air. Next, how to create uh, schedules and play playlists at certain time. Uh, so to do that, we will use Schedules tab in uh, Scheduler application. First, uh, let's create new playlist. So I will start a new schedule. Uh, and in this uh, time, it is very important to pick starting time properly. So uh, let's drag the first clip, for example. Uh, in that case, we will need properties tab to be visible. So let's fix this playlist for some certain time in future. So I would like to play this uh, today at 20. Okay. And please note that this starting time is already accepted and also fixed time is uh, marked in our playlist. Then I will just add some other clips and then what we should do just press publish and uh, scheduler will ask for playlist name i will just name it my test schedule you're able to type 
some description if you like and also some comment if, if you like and please note uh, two important checkboxes here. The first one is active. So if this checkbox check box is pressed, uh, this playlist will be automatically published uh, to remote and to play out application. Also, default means that this playlist will be visible for default list chooser in remote application. Default list is playlist which will go in loop forever uh, in case if nothing is uh, uh, put in the playlist on some other way using a pen schedule using publisher playlist or any other way including manual way so uh, let's go back to scheduler application and i will just announce this playlist as active and also as a default list so uh, immediately uh, you can track all these parameters in schedules list and also you're able to double click on it and change parameters. For example, uh, just remove active status from this playlist and uh, just stop the broadcast of this playlist. So in our way, in, in our case right now, I will put active and also immediately this playlist will become available for default loop playlist in remote application. Uh, also in schedules tab, you will see that uh, this playlist is already visible and uh, it will be played at fixed time at certain date, which is typed as a first event start time in our playlist. Also, in uh, monitoring part of this remote application uh, you will notice that already uh, we have a visible countdown until this next schedule so with this way you're able to create as many schedules as you want and also this is a very good way to keep your playlist and to save playlist in database uh, because at any time in the future you will be able to load this playlist, edit, republish and use the same structure for some uh, future rundowns. At the end I will just briefly explain all other options uh, using uh, right click in uh, playlist part of the scheduler applica application and uh, you are able to use all uh, usual keyboard shortcuts like uh, Ctrl C and Ctrl V, uh, delete uh, key on your on your keyboard. Uh, also using right click uh, on, on your mouse, you're able to delete single clips or you're able to delete all instances of some uh, selected clip. Uh, you're able to insert live events, SDI live events. Uh, you're able to use placeholders. So in case if you wait for some video file to be produced uh, and it is not ready yet, uh, you're able to put placeholder to define duration uh, in uh, properties tab. Uh, with just double click on duration tab, you can enter new time uh, with leading zeros, so you are able to put one hour like zero, one, zero, 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 and just press enter. And also you are able to rename placeholders, so you can uh, select uh, uh, placeholder name and just type uh, some uh, file which is not ready yet. Uh, and you will see immediately this, this change in, in the playlist. Uh, also very important, you're able to use manual take flag for any part of your playlist. Manual take flag means that this file, this file will not immediately start. Uh, instead, it will wait for manual uh, take next command from the remote. So this is basically a way how to stop temporarily your playlist. Uh, this is uh, useful after live event, for example, because in that case, even if you de define your live 
for example, like this, uh, to take, uh, for example, 45 minutes. So 00, 0 45, 00, 0, enter. Uh, in that case, uh, playout will uh, never switch to this jingle uh, without manual take command. So very useful for live sources because you never know how, how long this event will, will take. So. Um, also, uh, you're able to get duration for some certain part of your list. So, so uh, if you select more than one clip in the playlist, uh, with calculate duration, you will you will get exact duration. Uh, and also, uh, you're able to expand and collapse or groups, uh, which can be blocks or uh, manually created groups uh, during uh, playlist creation. Finally, I will explain you how to use blocks. Um, blocks are a very useful way uh, to group certain files and uh, insert uh, the, the same group, group of files uh, several times. Uh, to do that, uh, just in Blocks tab of Scheduler or Remote application, uh, just press Add Block, uh, name it as you wish. So my Commercials 1, for example. And then instead of drag to Playlist, uh, you are able to drag uh, your Commercials to Block. Uh, also, you are able to reorder uh, these files and uh, every time you can track total duration of this block. Finally, when you are ready, uh, you're able to drag block to playlist and it will be inserted as a group immediately and you're able to expand, collapse and insert same block several times in your playlist. Uh, this is a feature of scheduler application, but you're able to do the same and, and to get, have same procedure in remote application also. Mm -hmm.